Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Hydroneer. Uh, if you don't know what Hydroneer is, um, most of you, I'm sure, do, but uh, if you don't know what it is, it's more or less, you take Gold Rush, combine it with a little, little was a, uh, My Little Blacksmith Shop. I'm sorry, I totally forgot what the actual name was. I knew it was Little Blacksmith something, but that's yeah, basically that. It's a, it's a gold mining game. We have uh, different plots in the game that we can mine dirt and gather gold and iron and gems and uh, eventually get into automation and all sorts of fun stuff but there's a lot of like crafting for as far as jewelry goes and there's different types of jewelry you can make and sort of customize everything and uh, it's uh, what was the I can't remember the name of the actual company I was give me a sec I'm sorry about that I forgot the developer's name the foul, developer's name is uh, foul ball hangover it's a one-man team uh, and you know what I actually didn't prefer to play games that are developed by one person, one or two people, because I find that when you have sole independent developers like that, that they tend to put more care and attention into their dis their game and have more appreciation for what they do and have more fun with it. Uh, speaking of fun, why is it... Oh, the sun is coming up, is it not? It's going down. Oh, yeah, because uh, I was rambling on. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, uh, we got some starting stuff here. We get our, our bucket, shovel. Uh, shovel's over there by the post. You know, you even get a map, too. This is something I find interesting. He actually gives you a map, but you can actually buy it in the towns. And then, as you can see, we've got different areas. We've got different dig sites, jewelers, equipment stores, stock market. Stock markets where you can try to get better stuff for better prices for your gold. And that cave that we were in, if you don't know, uh, each one of those dig sites, all four of them, has a relic. Now, I don't know what actually happens when you get all four relics into that cave that I was in. There's four pedestals in there. You put them in there and it's supposed to unlock something. But I don't know what that is. Uh, but this is a game that Blitz plays quite frequently and enjoys so much. And it's one that Dre plays a lot too and enjoys as well. And I enjoy it too. So anyways, uh, what I'm going to do, I don't actually have any money, i got to do some work. Fortunately, we do have a light lamp, I'm going to have to use it because it's getting dark, and I don't actually have any money to buy a bed right now. So, uh, let us start digging. Unfortunately, there's no sprint as far as I know. Uh, it is a physics-based game and can get quite laggy. Uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing that awfully quick, but uh, this is our whole starting process. We start with digging dirt into a bucket. Uh, we can do it into the pan, but you don't get as much into the into the bucket at the time. So we're going to do that, take the brush out of there, or do it that way. And then uh, the controls I was having trouble because you got the, the blue dot in front of me, but at the same time you have that green circle, and that green circle is just showing you where the object's placed. So now there's different things you can do. You can either drop it, and I always get in the habit of trying to drop it in here, but when you have that circle, in some cases you actually get a left click, and then, it'll, for instance, it'll always dump out the bucket, but if you hit E, it'll drop it. Anyway, uh, go ahead, drop it in the water, and fill it, fill it up, scrub with the brush, and there we go. A little bit of gold, a little bit of iron, and then uh, I can sell it as it is, or I can smelt it into bars once I get the the smelter or foundry, whatever it is, in the coffer, and the, the ingot mold, and then we have to get the anvil, and all that stuff. So that is our starting stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of work, because it's getting dark and I can't actually sleep and pass time away, so I'm going to do this off camera, and I'll bring you back, and hopefully we'll have a bunch of goodies to buy some stuff. Oh man, I was busy. It's noon already. But anyways, yeah, I got uh, a few goodies. Uh, got a couple of uncut emeralds here. I do have to get a cutting wheel to, or a grinding stone to actually cut these so I can actually sell them, because right now I can't actually do anything with them until I do. I found some iron. A uh, nice little pile of iron here. Found some kryptonite. No, not kryptonite. It's actually power shards. Uh, we use these to uh, pressurize our water system. Because uh, it's all about water pressure. You lose pressure over a distance of pipe. Uh, these are just basically pressure boosters. And yeah, that was that was about it. Sound about all. Oh yeah, and then all the gold I found too. So this wasn't bad. I may have found a bug too that uh, I'm not going to mention here because... You know, it is really cheaty, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm on their Discord right now, so I want to check it, uh, see if I can get a known bug list and see if it's been reported, because, yeah, it could be 
<laughs> very interesting if that, that something like that would actually work, especially uh, with the way the, the game is and more or less what it is. What you're seeing here is just from this little hole here. The further down you go, the better the resources. And apparently some of the nuggets can get really big. You can find power shards are much larger. You can find uh, gems like emeralds, rubies, and sapphires that are... You know, a fair size, so uh, there's a lot of variation in it. Uh, this is where the lag comes in because each one of these is its own separate object. So, uh, yeah, so now I gotta load all this stuff up. I'm gonna leave the, leave the power shards because I'm actually gonna need those uh, eventually, and then I'm gonna leave those because I can't actually do anything with them. So, I'm gonna load all this, load all this up into a buck into that bucket there, and we'll see what we get. Okay, all loaded up. Uh, let us go. So now there's two places you can sell. You can sell at um, sell stuff at the jewelers or at the stock market. You can only, I think the, I think the stock market would only take finished items like swords and rings and hands and stuff like that. Where I think the jeweler will actually take all the raw stuff. So as you can see here, if I drop that down, it'll give me 415 for everything that's in there. Uh, I will get more if I smelt it down. Uh, I can't really smelt it down because I'm gonna have to spend pretty much that amount of money to get everything I need. And then over here was my stock market right here. Now as you can see, stock market won't take it because it's not processed and it'll only take what you see here and that's is you know what I mean like uh, one day it'll be the swords will be higher and the next day the swords will be lower and the rings will be up. So it is a stock market and it makes a big difference when some of these pe some of these pieces that you make really depend on how much material you put into it. So if you put forty thousand into a sword and it is technically possible, then you can make five or ten grand overnight or lose five or ten grand overnight. So that is that. So we're gonna run back over here. We're gonna drop this off and we're gonna sell this. Actually, what I wanna do is grab one little nugget. Go ahead and get two bucks for that. We're gonna make a wish. Just because. Aha, I got the big boot too. <laughs> Don't know what it's about. It's just a big boot worth two bucks. And that's the physics for you. Come on, get up there. Spam the button before it has a chance to go anywhere. Uh, actually, I gotta sell everything else anyways. So we'll go ahead and sell that, 412. And... I think I lost money on that. I could have sworn I had more than that. Anyways, we run down here. This is technically our wallet. We do have a truck there that we can drive around in. It is water powered and it is apparently very prone to physics related incidences. I've had a few already. Anyway, so this is our shop here. This is the kind of stuff we can buy. There's our, our pans, our buckets, uh, the grinding wheel to grind up the gems, but the gems aren't themselves aren't worth that much. But when you put, combine them in, into jewelry, uh, it seems to increase the value significantly. Uh, it's this basic shovel we have. We can get an improved shovel, which double double the dirt. Pickaxe, the clear area. But, or clear, and you can see, uh, split the bigger rocks in half, but, uh, the area that you clear is lost dirt. And, I'll be honest, I don't have any intentions of losing any dirt. I plan on mining everything out of every claim site. Anyway, so that is what we need. It's a small furnace. Uh, we need the, the crucible, which is 18. It's not bad. Uh, I need a casting mold. So these three things we'll need right away. We could probably get the anvil and, uh, the hammer. I don't know if I'll have enough for that. Because I'd buy some buckets too. At least when I get, get into ingot form, it'll be a lot cheaper. Or get more money out of it. So we'll drop that there. Break it before we buy it. Grab one of those. And I love this. You try to steal stuff. <laughs> I tried to cheat too. I tried to go this way. Grab something. As soon as I got over here, it was gone. I actually want to see if I can. Uh, it won't let me actually grab it. Because I know you can pick stuff up from far away, but... Yeah. No, no way to steal in the game. That's a shame. So I need that. Uh, we need an ingot mold. 
Oh yeah. Need that crucible I tried to steal. And I might have to get one of those. Just because it's dark and the nights are long and lonely around here. Anyway, uh, what are we at here? 146. And I got 415. I think we might actually be able to get the anvil. Anvil. Yeah, just throw a big old handle around and a blacksmithing hammer. 337. Okay. Now, uh, really should get some more buckets. I find it's easier to fill up a whole buck bunch of buckets and then wash a whole bunch of buckets than fill a bucket, wash a bucket, fill a bucket, wash a bucket. Uh, the assembly line sort of mentality it seems to work for me. Um, I don't really need a, shel a shovel, do I? No. Uh, need a bed, though. Grab that, see if we can squeeze that in here. And... Ta-da! No, I haven't paid for it yet. I think I might actually want to get another crucible if I can afford it. And that way I can have one for the iron, one for the copper. Uh, gold, yes. I was going to say copper. Wrong game. Alright, and it leaves me with a whole $14. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to get? Yeah, that grinding goes out uh, on 26. Anyway, uh, let's bring back today. Pot it, might as well just sleep right away. And off we go. So I gotta move all this stuff over to here. Uh, what I was doing, I did do a little bit of a playthrough. I was sort of setting up over here because it's a little more flatter, and I think I might do that. So I'm going to bring everything over, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I got everything over here, and uh, thank God I record. One of the reasons why I record and not stream is because I can always delete clips that I don't want anybody to see. Uh, yeah, I was trying to be smart. I was trying to load stuff in the bucket, bucket and say, hey, I love the, these physics, and I go and pick up the bucket, and everything just sort of fell through it. So I kind of look stupid on camera. But nobody saw it, thank God. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got everything all over here. Uh, one of the things I did have issue with, issues with when I first got picked this up, tried to use it, I didn't realize you actually had to place it. Now, everything in the game, if you pick it up, you push E to drop it. But if you hold E, it allows you to put it in placement mode. And then you can go around and move it around and place it wherever you want. So I could go ahead and place it right on top of my bed if I want. Just like so. Or you can just drop it wherever the green dot is. But what I didn't know is that you actually have to place the crucible for it to actually work. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. Click. That's right. Go into placement mode. Now, there was a spot over there. Yes. And then it ignites. Now, is her... Oh, okay. I thought it would actually do an E. But yeah, that's sort of the, the way the building mechanic works. Uh, the Same with the anvil. But the anvil is a little different as far as mechanics go. Uh, actually, you don't need the hammer for this. You just go ahead and click on it, and then it tells you the recipe. So to make a dagger, you need one iron ingot. Uh, iron ingot can be any size that you want. We'll actually do a test. We'll try to make one tiny ingot, or one tiny dagger, and then we'll make a big dagger. And then uh, you go to the next. You need two for an axe, three for a sword. You need one gold bar and one gem for a ring. And then two gold bars and one gem for a necklace. And so those are the things that we craft. So what I need to do is I need to start getting some work done, do some digging, gather up some resources, and we'll see how small of a dagger we can bit make. Uh, what I actually do have to do is actually get some gold smelted so I can go buy the cutting wheels so we can actually make some gems. I actually want to try that. I want to see if I can make a tiny gem, or a tiny ring, for instance, and a tiny... It has to be a tiny dagger. We could try to do a tiny a sword if we want. Basically, the ingots are as big as however much metal you put in the crucible and melt it. Anyway, I am all set up, so uh, let me do some digging, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I ended up doing about two days of mining, I think. I had to actually go sell some of the gold nuggets. Just enough gold nuggets to get the cutting wheel. Or the grindstone, or whatever the thing's called. And yes, and I made more than my gold back after I did that. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go through here. And I want to try to find a tiny, 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 tiny gold nugget. There we go. It looks pretty small. Okay, let's go smelt this. And then while we're doing that, we're going to take this bucket. We're going to go and grab our gems. I did find a few more. I actually found a pretty good emerald. Because uh, what I want to do is... 
I want to find the biggest gem and the smallest gem because, like I said, I want to make a, a large ring and a small ring. And I want to see how small they can actually get because I've seen some big items people have made. Ooh, legs big. All right, so uh, let us see. So uh, that's the first large emerald I found. That's the second one. So that is going to be the bigger one. Right, get off there. I want the little guy. Pick that one. And I did find a tiny ruby, and I think oh, the ruby's a winner. And I'll take these. Yeah, buckets are a little glitched. It is very early access. All right, so let me go over here and really tedious. Grind that. Get this nice clean stone and grind that. And these are actually pretty small from what I've seen. I've seen big ones. Once we get down to the bottom, we'll be starting to see stuff that probably big as this pan, maybe. All right, so that is our gem. So that's going to be our small ring, and that's going to be our big ring. Okay, how's this doing? That is melted. Okay. This is going to be our large gold bar. Okay, I'm going to take that out. And then we're going to you know, grab that tiny, 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 tiny nugget. There. And we're going to put that in there. And that is going to be the next one. That's going to be a small ring. What we can do while we're waiting is... Oh yeah, I actually have to heat the ingots up. So I'm going to melt the ingots down. I'm going to do the same thing with the iron too. I'm going to go in here and find a... The smallest iron nugget I can find here. The tiniest gold bar, iron bar we can. And make a, something out of that. And then I'll melt the rest into another big bar. And then uh, we'll make, make our first jewelry and weapons. Okay, I am done. So, here we go. We got a tiny little gold bar, a tiny little ruby, and our big gold bar, and our somewhat medium-sized emerald, and our big iron bar, and our tiny iron bar. So, let us start with the daggers first. So, I'm going to go ahead and put both of these in, so you actually have to heat the ingots up to actually work with them. And I think we'll start with the small guy first. We'll go here, and we'll set that to dagger. And then... I get the little guy red hot. Oops, wrong button. And just drop that on the anvil like so. I grab the hammer and hit it. There we go. Okay, so that's a tiny dagger, and I actually made a bigger dagger than I thought. So we'll drop that one down, and that will take the big ingot. And we'll drop it down on the anvil like so, and I regret putting it up to the rock like that. But there we go. And there's the bigger dagger. Now, of course, the more material you put into it, the bigger the items become. So let's just put those next to each other. Come on, not that way. Sure. And that's not even a lot of iron. All right, it gets so much bigger. All right, and now for the uh, gold. The rings. I don't think I've ever seen an actual small ring in the game. Not yet, anyways. We're, we're about to. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and set that to ring. Grab that, that should be hot enough now. We'll go ahead and place that on top. We'll grab our big ruby, or emerald. And there we go. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the ring. It's not like a big ring, it's more like a bracelet than anything. Okay, uh, in the real world, that'd be a fortune, but it's not exactly worth that much in the game. But, I'm gonna grab the other little bar here. Nope. Oh, uh, Set that back to ring. Drop you there. Heavy ingot. Drop tiny little emerald on top. Oh, it's because I dropped it and didn't actually place it. Oh my god, that's so cute. That looks more like a ring. So now it makes me wonder. If you were to put like $100,000 worth of gold into one ring, would it be as a hulu or something? I don't know. But anyways, let's go uh, let's see what this stuff is all worth. Load it up into our magical bucket here. I know there is other things I can get. Uh, a backpack and stuff like that. Aha. Hey, it worked. Okay. So now this is where we're going to find out about the stock market and the jeweler. Uh, something else I want to do too. You know, to me, this map... It, Scream secrets. There's got to be he's Easter eggs or things hidden around this map somewhere. You know what I mean? Got to be. Anyway, uh, let us see what we get with a big dagger here. 203. Okay, let's run over here. Let's see what we get here. Daggers are down. 
189. So swords would have been up. But ooh, rings are up. Good. Okay, so we'll sell, sell daggers here. So the big dagger is worth uh, 203. We'll sell that. That's a tiny one worth. That's a dagger. Seven bucks. Nice. Okay, uh, ring. 767 here. Give me that. Thank you. Sorry about the lag spike there. Uh, I'm thinking it's time for a uh, new Windows install. And it's 10 bucks more over here. So I'm guessing that's a decimal. Alright, that's fine. We'll grab the other ring. And we'll grab our money while we're here. There's not much. Thank you. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. Sorry. That was uncalled for. Okay, so 777 on that one. Actually, let's just sell that. We're going to sell it anyways. I want to see what this old guy's worth. Okay, so how much do you think this is worth? I'm going to say it's going to be about $35. What's your guess? Go ahead, leave it in the comments below, and I'll wait. <laughs> Have you guessed yet? Okay, I'm going to say 35 bucks. 20? What oh, a ripoff. Go take my jewelry somewhere else. Alright, so what do I have now? Um, come on, stack for me, please. You don't want to stack, do you? Ah, on you. There we go. Hey, made my thirst. First thousand bucks. Get in there. Thank you. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. So, I think we have enough to start getting into some equipment. Uh, I don't know what he's got here. Let's go have a look, shall we? Oh. That was not where I wanted to jump off, but we're here anyways. So, he's... They have nothing here. He's got the pipes. But the pipes aren't going to do much. So let's go to the other equipment store, which is... And this is the thing, too. Like you don't actually have to buy the map. You can just look at it in the store. So, that's where we're going to go there. So, we'll, we'll take the shortcut. And we'll stop by Blitz's place while we're there. I might actually start decorating it just because. And when I join the server, or the Discord server for, uh, for a Hydranium, guess who happened to be in the list? Yes, that's right. Blitz, the president of Blitztopia. Almost felt special being in the same Discord as him. Not that he'll ever notice me. Oh, God, no. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just bugging. Yeah, that waterfall screams secret right there. Definitely have to go investigate that. And it'd be nice if I could run, but I can't. It is a bit of a drive to get here with the truck, but believe it or not, I think it's actually faster just to walk and take the shortcut. Unfortunately, you have to go back up through the river to the bridge. I tried to go up this way and can't quite make it. But here we are. I think this is the place that has a scrap area too. Yeah, you can go over there and you can sell your old equipment for scrap. Uh, and here is Blitz's house. I uh, thought it was funny when the first episode I saw him. Uh, the first episode he saw this, he came in here. It's like, oh, this could be my place. And he goes and hides in here. And yeah, Blitz's house, keep out. But I wonder if Blitz knows that he lost a little bit of room back here. That wall was back a little further. But anyway. That's what we have. This is uh, the housing department. This is where we can get like all the different things like tables. Oh, there is a table. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you get all sorts of different things to build like houses and buildings and factories and stuff like that. And the best thing is everything can be painted different colors. Uh, I think you only get like four uses. No, there you go. Five uses for each one. So paint's not cheap. But it is there and everything can be painted. Even the roofs, the walls, the floor. I think the floors. Maybe the equipment. I don't know. We shall find out though. And then there's different lamps you can buy. And, you know, tool racks and fishing things and fishing poles and all sorts of fun stuff. And then we go over here and this is where all the equipment is. This is where all the good stuff is. So we have the harvester. This uh, does the scrubbing for us. So it turns the dirt into the. Whatchamacallit there? the good stuff, the money. 
Yeah, and then we've got the ram drill and the glide drill. The glide drill uh, drills a hole straight into the ground. The ram drill just takes top level dirt. This is just minimal stuff that comes out, but minimal times a lot is a lot. And that's the big guy. We'll have to get one of these days too. The no, what they call that thing? A, a harvester or something? I know they reworked it. They had to extend that, but. That's on the legs plate, but let's see what we can do here. I should probably just brought the truck. Now that I think about it, I don't have to come back for it. Now, the curious thing I'm wondering is what do I really want to start out with? Do I really want to grind more and just get straight into automation or try to get semi automated and then grind some more with the semi automation and then get into the automation? I am not sure, but I don't, I'm not going to be able to do any shopping because I'm not going back and forth multiple times with just by foot. But I think this might be a good time to call it. I do have some cash. I'll probably do some shopping off camera. Or, uh, yeah, because even the splitters are starting to get expensive, right? Hmm. You know what? We'll probably end up going with the ram drill. In fact, since I only need the... I think I just need one... Well, I'll need a few pipes. Uh... You know what, let me go get pick up the truck. Okay, I am back, and here is our water-powered truck. Yes, it's water-powered, and it's surprisingly noisy for running off of just water. But, yeah, so, uh, I guess we'll start off with the ram drill. How much was that again? 385, okay. It's not too bad. Now, this is basically our pump. It's an intake water pipe. Uh, we do need some sort of pressurization, eventually. I probably will get one of these, just because... Actually, hmm, I'll take it just because uh, I will probably will need it, but I do want to test a theory on my own here. Uh, for, well, I should get a shut off valve. Uh, where are your T-pipes? Oh, yeah, we need the filter too. We need the filter. Uh, we don't really need the pressure gauge. I'm not worried about that. I wonder if I should get the cork or not. I might do that. Actually, no, because that doesn't need it right now. And where are the T-pipes? There we go, T-pipe. Which also remind me, I need one more of those. And, getting cluttered here. Oh, oh yeah, uh, disappears on me. Do, 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 do. Put that in there, should be still 720, yes. And, we are gonna need, oh god, those are expensive. Doesn't even say how many u how many uses it has. Uh, does he even sell the Does he even sell the singles anymore? I don't see him. We do have magnets we can use to pick up all the small stuff. Hammers. Uh, oh yeah, he does. Fifty-five. Oh, better get more than what I need out of that. E I'm broke already. Now, where did I leave my money? Oh, yeah. Inside. Right where I left it. Okay. 70 bucks. Yay. Now to pack all this stuff into a truck that, from what I've seen, has been severely possessed. Well, there's one. Come on, if I can't break this game, then maybe there's something wrong with me. We're going to find out pretty quick here. Well, I shouldn't say that, because I know the developer has been working on the game and has been fixing a lot of issues. you got to love early access, so I really do. You get the best bugs. Uh, like this bug here. Come on, lay down. Okay. We'll stand on you, and we'll pick you up. Since you're flying up in the air. Well, didn't really do it that, that time, but I know the bucket does it pretty good. Let's actually see what happens when I do it in the bucket inside. Not much. Anyway, so I got everything, so let me pack it up, and I'll uh, meet you back at the, the site. Okay, here we are. Now, I'm starting to wonder if maybe I have enough pipes to do this or not. I'm actually broke. I got four bucks left in my name. So let's see where we can place this. 
It's got to be somewhere we can actually touch the dirt. It's not going to go there. Uh, might have to be there by the looks of it. Okay, and I do have it facing the right way. And I'm going to need some elbows by the looks of it. Hmm. Well, let's build our way. Build backwards. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I do have some gems, so I'm going to see if I have enough gems I can actually sell. And see if I can... I just need two... Oh, I'm going to need a few more pipes than this, I think. I'm going to have to do some scrap... Uh, I'm digging, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I did have actually have enough gems left over, plus the change I had to get to the two elbows that I needed and another straight that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this up with just uh, one of these in that pipes. Come on, get down there. And uh, we'll see what happens. Rotate for me, thank you. Clearly working. Now let's open you up. And now what this does is just basically takes small little chunks out and I take these chunks and I actually put them into just wash my hands so it just makes it a little bit easier for me so we can see how slow it's going with just uh, with me <laughs> taking the thing out so that's how fast it goes and you can take these and we can actually combine them Make them a little bigger, and I don't know how big they can be before you can actually, before they don't actually fit in the pan, which I left somewhere. But now that, let's actually check something here. I actually want to do a bit of a test here because I know there's not enough pressure for that, and I, you need to use a pressure, a pressure booster with the crystals. But I do know that these pipes, uh, fifty. Uh, supply 50% water pressure. So, can we actually hook up two of them and get 100%? Now the water will come out the other side, that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and plug up the other, other end with this, and that's what we actually need the corks for. So, let me see here. So we do that. If we turn this back on, let's see how fast it runs. So we do actually need the pressure booster. Okay. We'll do that. We'll take that out of the way. And... Oh, there it is. Go ahead and grab this. And... I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to put this thing. So we'll just put it right here. Oop. Like so. Oop. Ah. There we go. So now this is where the pressure shards come in. No, let's use a small one for now. Thank you. Fingers didn't want to work there. Alright, and... I gotta stop doing that. Open you up. We'll pick up the gem. We hold E, so we're gonna place it right inside. Drop it in. Ugh. So hard get getting used to new controls. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. We drop the gem in. Okay. And then we click to close. Aha. So now, this should run faster. Yeah, I think it's running faster. I don't have a pressure gauge on here, so I don't know. Actually, <laughs> Okay, now the water was open. The hell was that? Oh, that was, that was me doing that. Oh, wait. Oh, right now, where's my bucket? Seal wall. Yeah. First thing I'm going to buy is that hammer so I can lock things down. Did I not turn you off? I have no idea. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to turn you off for one get my bucket get my pan I should say I think they left that over here did I not yes I did and look I have zero dollars 
I'm so broke, I own a zero dollar coin. That's a big one, will that fit in there? Nope, that's too big, that's what we need the pickaxe for. That will though. You know, it was a plan, I was hoping that it was gonna only do so much. I didn't realize those things were so noisy. And there we go. Our first semi-automated dirt. It'd be a bit of a pain. But this is where we gotta get into the conveyors and uh What's that thing called? The thing that harvests it, that cleans off the dirt and gets the uh, gems and stuff like that. Ores, good stuff. Yeah, long day. Anyways, I think this is going to be a good place to call it. Uh, did some mining today. We got sort of broke ground in Hydroneer and got our first little automated system going. No easy as hell, doesn't work, but hey. Never, nothing's, ever, nothing's ever perfect. But uh, yeah, so the next episode we'll start getting some stuff done. But anyways, I think it's a good place to call it here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.